We begin with the latest in the coronavirus pandemic as mask mandates are lifted across our area. A deadline is fast approaching for some city workers. And that could mean those workers will be without a job if they don't comply. CBS 2's Andre Andrea Grimes reports from the Upper East Side on the rules. At Morton Williams on the Upper East Side, new signs have gone up inside the supermarket saying masks are recommended but not required for vaccinated customers and employees at Morton Williams. This morning, most people working and shopping still covered their faces, but some did not. I think it's time that we take it off. I came in from Westchester, they probably took it all off already. Yeah. And then the kids should take it off so we could see their smiles. Personally for me, I believe that it's a little too soon. However, I am going to protect myself and people have the right to do whatever they want to do. Are you going to still wear a mask when you go grocery shopping? Yes, definitely. As of today, the New York State mandate requiring either masks or proof of vaccination at indoor public places is over. Governor Hochul said she lifted the mandate because COVID cases and hospitalizations are dropping. She's waiting till March, she says, to decide whether to lift the mask mandate in schools. We're not surrendering. This is not disarmament. We're going to continue to be adaptable and responsive to the changing circumstances. Businesses themselves or localities can still impose their own mandates. Here in New York City, you still need to show proof of vaccination at restaurants, arenas, gyms, and movie theaters. Tomorrow is also the final deadline for New York City municipal workers to be vaccinated. The United Federation of Teachers says the City Department of Education has sent out termination notices to some 700 of its unvaccinated members who are now on unpaid leave and not in school. Reportedly about 3,000 to 4,000 city workers are expected to be fired by tomorrow for not getting the vaccine out of roughly 400,000 municipal workers. We have reached out to City Hall to get the exact numbers and we'll keep you updated throughout the day when we hear back. Reporting on the Upper East Side, Andrea Grimes, CBS 2 News. We'll stay with CBS2 for the latest information on these changes on our website. You can track COVID cases by county, find information on vaccination centers and more. Those resources are all at CBSNewYork.com.